of the 32 bowl games kicking off Tuesday. Number 24 TCU in Northern Illinois in the Poinsettia Bowl. TCU ranked fourth in the nation against the run. Garrett Wolf, the nation's leading rusher, trails Archie Griffin for 10th all-time by 41 yards. Herschel Walker for ninth by 123 yards. And Ladanian Tomlinson for eighth by 127 yards. Tomlinson and Charger teammate Michael Turner in the house. Turner went to NIU if TCU wins. Turner has to wear Tomlinson's number five TCU jersey around the Chargers facility. <laughs> in the first quarter, Wolf, a witness to that run defense, TCU ranked fourth in the nation against the run. In the second quarter, third and nine at the ten for TCU, quarterback Jeff Ballard eluding the pressure. The extra effort gets in for the touchdown. Nice run by him. Getting into the end zone, and Wolf still having problems. That's because TCU, as I mentioned, ranked fourth in the nation against the run, allowing just 68 yards per game. Wolf finished with 28 yards on 20 carries, still 11th all time, and Ballard showing up Wolf. He had no problems running with TCU up 23-0. TCU wins it 37-7. Wolf, not a memorable final game, but he does complete a remarkable three-year career at Northern Illinois. His 156.5 rushing yards per game for his career ranks him fourth all-time in bowl subdivision, formerly D1A. History, Wolf accumulated 52 rushing touchdowns. Have to have rice in it, and preferably some red beans. Actually, it was rice and Troy in the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl. Rice, no bowl wins since 1954. We take you back to January 1st, 54 against Alabama. Dickie Magel rushes down the sideline. Going for the touchdown, Tommy Lewis gets off the bench and tackles Magel. Rest would award him with a touchdown. Coach Todd Graham reminds his players of that day. 1954. 1954 is last time we won a bowl game. Hadn't been a bowl game in 45 years. Hey, we talked about in January doing what? Winning a championship. Let's go win a championship. You wonder about his math. They hadn't been to a bowl in 45 years. It was 61, but they lost that bowl. Seconds remaining in the first quarter. Omar Hogabook to Michael Terry. 56-yard touchdown. Hogabook with four touchdown passes. Trojans up 21-7. One bright spot for Rice. Jared Diller, their outstanding receiver. 15th consecutive game with a touchdown. But Troy goes on to win it 41-17 as Rice gets cooked. Mino Cook had the sidebar for that game. <laughs> Armed Forces Bowl. Now, this is Steve Cragthorpe and Utah coach Kyle Winningham. They've known each other for a long time. Their fathers coached together at BYU back in the 70s. Back to Saturday night, third quarter. Utah leads 9 7. That's fun. Brian Hernandez to Brent Castile, and that's that's really pretty. 16-7 Utah after the extra point. Then Eric Weddle, normally a defensive back, scores. And Utah wins 25-13. Two Albuquerque for the New Mexico Bowl, New Mexico and San Jose State. Spartans playing in their first bowl game since 1990. Second quarter, Spartans on their own 24. Adam Chafalis to John Broussard, 76 yards touchdown. Chafalis, 11 of 18, 210, three. TDs. Spartans up 7 0. New Mexico ball. Rodney Ferguson up the middle. Flips and fumbles. Amanda Jones recovers and returns for 57 yards. It's worth another look. Momentum in the Spartans' back pocket for the rest of the way because of this play. Spartans get their first bull win outside of California. Your final is 20 to 12 as San Jose can bring home the New Mexico Bowl champion. Birmingham, Alabama for the inaugural Pop Johns.com Bowl, South Florida and East Carolina. Second quarter, Bulls up 14 to 7. Big East freshman of the year, Matt Grothy deep. Amari Jackson is there. 37 yards touchdown. South Florida up 21 to 7. Tough day for East Carolina quarterback James Peatling. Gets crushed by Ben Moffitt and hammered between two defenders. Pirates quarterback sacked four times Saturday. Third quarter, check out safety Lewis Gachette. Full speed, hammers Pinkman, Bulls with a total of six sacks as they get the victory. South Florida wins. Christmas Eve in Hawaii doesn't sound exactly terrible. I mean, if Connecticut's close. Why quarterback Colt Brennan needed two touchdown passes to pass David Klingler's D1A single season mark of 54. And I believe after throwing nothing but an interception in the first half, he hits Jason Rivers to tie the record there in the second half. He was 4 for 4 in the drive, and they're tied with Arizona State at 10. Brennan to Ryan Grice Mullen. I, I simply call him Grice. That's the touchdown. That's the record. 
55. Everybody applauding Brennan and his team up 17-10. Next wide possession. Brennan. Look at him throw the magic pineapple there, huh? Grice Mullen again. Brennan's third. Added up to 56th. Sparky the Sun Devil being coached by their former coach Dick Cutter in this one. So that's got to be a very tough situation for the folks in Tempe. Fourth quarter, more Brennan. Hawaii up 27-24. The gap had closed. And now, no. Devon Bess. Fourth TD toss for Brennan. Warriors up 34-24. And one more time. Brennan, short pass, Rivers, long game. 79 yards. Brennan, 559 yards. That's a career best in school record for passing yards in a game. So he's got himself a whale of a season, 41-24. At present, the Colts in Hawaii better than any of the Colts in Indianapolis. Season comes to an end with the major record for touchdown passes, as you see, first in the Division I Bowl subdivision rankings. And... Passing yards, completion percentage, total offense. And the junior says he will be back for more next season. Perhaps 60 more TD passes, though he needs just 29. It's at the career mark. The whole week continues, Motor City style. Middle Tennessee and Central Michigan. Jeff Quinn in the interim coach role, taking over for Brian Kelly. Junior linebacker Red Keith has this to say. Coach Q's a very intense dude. He's been working as hard at practice. I'm talking about practice here, not a game. Practice. Red's evidently been... Boning up on the AI quotes in here. We've got Dan Lefevre finding Ontario Sneed, and Sneed had 90 total yards, two touchdowns in the game. He's a sophomore, and Lefevre is a freshman, so the Chippewas are well stocked. You know, we love the Mac, and Lefevre doing his thing with the feet there. 226 total yards. Mac doing their thing. Central won on this field, winning the Mac title earlier this year and that's Clint Marks a senior who's had a really nice career for the uh, Blue Raiders but here he's throwing it to Doug Press who plays for Central and he takes it all the way the other way the Chippewas get the win for their interim coach 20th career bowl victory this is the first time the Knowles have played at a December bowl game since 1990 it's not been the kind of year that the folks in Tallahassee are used to seeing Lorenzo Booker youngster from California was an enormous recruit never had the career that folks thought he might but he's been a classy player had 208 yards of total offense in this game and the Seminoles are up but not for long Patrick Cowan finds Brandon Brazil and number one for six ties the game up just like that 434 yards total offense UCLA 433 FSU oh hips hips you always hear recruiters and scouts talk about hips the hips get turned around Brazil uses the speed it was a 20 to 13 game at the half. Then special teams come up huge for Florida State. Dakota Watson, the block, Aaron Perez has his punt blocked, and it's Lawrence Timmons taking it in. Seminoles now lead 23-20. UCLA gave up 28 points in their last three games of the regular season. Florida State, well, they had a whole lot more than that. Booker now makes it 37 to 27, and it is all Florida State in the second half. Tony Carter picks off Cowan, and base in the space means peace. See you later. He is gone. 44-27. Seminoles outscore UCLA 31-7 in the second half. Jeff Bowden's last game as OC, offensive coordinator, is a good one. And Pop about and gets bowl win number 20. And there is some cause for optimism down in Tallahassee for this reason. Coach Bowden very rarely follows up a poor in the eyes of their faithful season with another poor in the eyes of their faithful season. Last time they had a seven win year, 1986 following season went 11 and one and they finished second in the AP poll.